Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry it's been a while since I uploaded my last video or tutorial, um, but now I promise this is it. I'm going to be regular now, I can feel it in my bones. So without making this intro super long, I just wanted to say that this is my everyday rose gold makeup look and the reason why I've called it an everyday look is because I always reach for a palette that has burgundy shades, gold shades, rose gold shades and um, a few of my favourite rose gold palettes that include the kind of dusty roses and the burnt orange shades and things like that I've listed in the description box below but for this tutorial on the eyes I'm going to be using the new Huda Beauty rose gold palette so I hope you enjoy it oh and before I forget please do subscribe and like leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this video and what else you would like to see and also my Instagram is CC Clark Beauty I'll leave everything below anyway enjoy Okay, so first of all, I am going to prime by using the Nivea Post Aftershave Balm and I am applying this with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Then for my foundation, I am using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in the shade Medium Honey. So as you can see here, I am concealing and I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the shade Light to Medium Sand. This is my favourite concealer like in the whole wide world. It's absolutely amazing and I really do find that it doesn't crease. So now for the contour, I am using the Tarte Tartis Pro Glow Kit and I'm using the Cream Me shade, which is actually called Shade. <laughs> I'm then blending this with my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques again. Of course then I'm going in with my Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier and I'm setting the areas that tend to crease up or get a bit oily and I'm using a Beauty Blender to pat that in. Then around the areas that perhaps I've baked and put the translucent powder, I'm buffing in the Tarte Amazonian Clay, it's the airbrush loose powder and I find that this adds a little bit more colour as well as adding coverage. Now I am using the Tartist Pro Glow Kit again and I'm using the shade Sculpt to add a bit more of a powder contour. Now I've dusted away all of the excess translucent powder and the setting powder. The brushes I'm using to contour are mostly from Morphe, which I bought from Cult Beauty. I'm now using the Morphe powder brush and buffing in the Jouer bronzer in the shade Sunkissed into all the places that the sun would usually hit and make it look like I've got a natural glow. Because the contour powders are quite grey, we want to now add a bit of warmth and I'm singing away there. So now I'm going in with a blusher and this is from the Swamp Queen palette by Tarte Cosmetics and Graveyard Girl and I'm using the shade Does This Thing Really Work? <laughs> and yes it does. It's a lovely blush and I'm using the highlight just below it which is the shade Gator Wings and I am obsessed with this highlight. I think it is so pigmented and beautiful. Now onto the brows. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse. I'm using the shade Rich Brown and I'm using the hard angle brush that actually is from Tarte as well. I think it, I don't know if I think you can buy it separately or it comes together as a set, but I absolutely love this brow mousse. It really doesn't budge. It's completely waterproof, so that's brilliant. No smeary eyebrows throughout the day, which is exactly what we want. 
Right, so now we are on to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. And I absolutely love this. I get a lot of questions um, asking about whether I think it's worth the price. And I know it's a little bit pricey, but yes, I do think it's worth it. You get a lot for your money and the um, the shimmery pigmented shades are so beautiful. They have no talc in them, so they really go on. It's almost like a creamy pigment, but it's gorgeous. Wait until you see me apply it. It's best to apply it with your finger, I have to say, because you really can pack it on and the brush um, won't pick up as many of the flakes because it's quite flaky, but once you've kind of worked it into your eye, it's, yeah, amazing. So I'm building up a bit of depth in the outer corner and now as you can see I'm adding the rose gold shade so you can see it's super pigmented, really creamy and now I'm just blending the powder in with that with my Dose of Colours eyeshadow brush. So I've been creating a winged eye look quite a lot more recently as I went through a phase of not really wearing any eyeliner, but now I am obsessed again. <laughs> Just go in and out of phases really. But I really like this eyeliner. It's the Sleek Dip It um, Liquid Eyeliner. And it's very affordable, which is always great. And I did find that it stayed in place all day. And rather than having a really sharp line, I'm just gonna blend some of the, the black shade from the Huda Beauty palette just to blend it in to make it look more of a soft wing rather than a really sharp, sharp edged wing. Now I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Mascara and I really like this actually. To be honest, I didn't think I would because I am so obsessed with my Bourgeois Volume Clubbing, nothing competes, but I found that this really added volume and length, so that's great. On to the lips now, which I'm sure a lot of you just came on here to see what, what lip shade I'm wearing. This is really my kind of signature lip and I have to say out of all the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick shades that she's created, these two are my favourite and I always wear them together. So this is Trendsetter and then I apply the shade Bombshell to Ombre and this formulation is still my favourite to date. It's so comfortable, non-drying and yeah, absolutely love it. Okay beauties, so here is my finished look. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also I'm very open to your suggestions in the comments section of what you'd like to see from me. But until next time, bye!